Ona Rock my soul. Is a Ona Is a Master. Is a Ona Rock my soul. Is a Ona. He is a master, he is a owner of my soul. I will talk about him, the man named Jesus, thy soul restaurant, the free giver of life. I will talk about him again, the man in Jesus, thy soul restaurant, the free giver of life. No one can stop me from talking about him. My master named Jesus, my very soul restaurant, the free giver of my life. I don't know about you, eh? No one can stop me from talking about Jesus. Hmm. Nobody, no one can stop me. My master named Jesus. His name is Jesus. Thy soul restaurant. Soul restaurant. Thy free giver of life. Father, I thank you for yet another opportunity giving me this morning to speak about you. Father, many people desire to do so, but they cannot anymore. Father, many are doing it here right now. Say, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand, but no one cares about them anymore. Father, now they are doing it under duress. Satan is buffeting them. The demon is tearing them in pieces, and yet their mouth is saying, repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. Lord Jesus, here am I, freely saying it. Father, I place my mouth, I place my ear in your mouth, speak to my ear, and speak to my mouth, O God. Lord Jesus, I have no word of my own. Speak to me, O God, and speak to me to your children, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, because I know every anti word of God that will be signed right now. Any power connected to us right now. Lord Jesus, let the sound of this voice of God death that spirit now and cast it back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Our Lord is good all the time. Children, we have a word before us this morning. The word of remainder is the desire of our Lord Jesus Christ. I call it our Lord Jesus Christ's desire. It's what he prayed for before he died. It was the last, the last prayer he prayed. And I know that there's no power that can hinder the prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ. So therefore, the prayer that it has been, it has been answered, no matter what the devil tried to do, in the name of Jesus Christ. The topic for this morning says, perfecting unity in the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Perfecting unity in the body of Christ. Or in the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Anyone is the topic. Praise Master Jesus. The unity in the body of Christ is what our Father Lord prayed for before he suffered and died. This is his desire for every humanity, for every Christian, for everyone is named according to the name of our Lord Jesus, so that we all might speak one language 
that we all may come to the unity of him. So as he, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, are united, this is his desire for us that we all may also be united. He prayed it. And we saw the unity in the apostles of old. Today, what is happening? Is the prayer not answered? Yes, it is answered. The body of Christ is not divided. Humanity may be fooling themselves. Humanity may be playing games with themselves. But I tell you, the body of Christ remains in unity. The gate of hell cannot prevail about it. Praise Master Jesus. But let's tell you today, for my own good, for your own good, for our own good, we must be engrafted into that unity in perfection. Every one of us, the Christians all over the world, must be fitted in, in perfection, as we will only be walking against ourselves. We will only be fighting ourselves while the body of Christ remains the body of Christ. Upon the rock, he said, he will build the church, and the gates of hell cannot prevail. That was the word of Christ, and no power can stop it. The gates of hell can never prevail against the work of God. The Bible told us in John chapter number 17, verse 21, John chapter number 17, verse 21, said that they all may be one. This was the prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ, that they all may be one. As thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Hmm. Children of the Most High God, if, no matter how we try to play games with our Christianity now, the world that believe already. It is announced all over the world that Jesus Christ is the Lord. There is no other Lord anymore. No other one, no other man that have died and resurrected is the only person. Even if the Muslims try to say they don't believe it, it's a lie. They believe it. They know it. Say it yourself. Know it. The power of the darkness know that Jesus Christ is the Lord. So therefore, children of God, we must do all we can to make sure we are united in that body of Christ. As heaven is far. For our own good, we must be joined in unity. I mean in perfect unity. Not in fabrication. Not in hypocrisy. No, I mean in true perfection. The Bible told us in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10 says, Now I beseech you, brethren. Apostle Paul was speak to us here. The, rather, the Lord was speaking to us through Apostle Paul. That he beseech us, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that we all speak the same thing. What is that language? The language of righteousness and holiness. The language of love. The language of of, of cherishing one another, not by biting each other, not piercing each other. No. Say that we all speak the same thing, and that there be no division among you, among us rather, but that we be perfectly joined, perfectly joined. So therefore, whoever is thinking the, you know, the body of Christ cannot be together is a lie. There must be perfection in the body of Christ. Perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Every one of us must have the same mind. What is that mind? The mind of Christ. I go to 1 Corinthians chapter number 2 verse 16. The same mind of Christ. So I beseech us that we all should speak the same language. What is that language? The language of holiness, righteousness, purity, the language of love, the language of unity. But today, what is the language you are speaking? The language of fighting each other, biting each other, the language of, of hitting each other. 
That is the language that the body of Christ is speaking today. Even we that say we are practicing the most holiness. Are we united? I don't think so. Everybody are doing their own thing. I'm not saying that we all might, must be under one umbrella as a body, but unity of the spirit. That is what matters. I read a place in the Bible that baffles me so much. That place in Luke chapter number 9. Luke chapter number 9. If you read 49 and 50, the Bible says, the, the disciple of Christ came to him and told him, we saw a man casting out demons in your name. But this man is not following us. He is not following us. But Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords did not say, go and chase him away. Christ understand that that man was in unity with him in the spirit. Jesus Christ doesn't say, okay, go and bring him. Let me flog him. No. He understood that even some of you here, the way that man is in unity with me, you, even you, Judas Carrot, you are not even with me. That man is even more with me than you. What did he say? Let, let us turn to that place. Luke chapter number 9, verse 49 and 50. Praise the Lord. Say, and John answered and said, Master, we saw one, one casting a devil in thy name, and we forbid him. Hey, just as Sopa said now, my group is the group that is going to heaven. We are the one the Lord said we must go to heaven. Any other one, even though you are doing it right, you cannot go. As long as you are with us, as long as you are in that place, you cannot go. Praise Master Jesus. I'm talking about the holiness people now. I'm not talking about the, the, the Christians who are doing jabbering. Please, take note now. I'm talking about the true body of Christ, not, the, not those who are working for the devil. We are all singing one song, but yet, some of us are saying, it cannot be until we are in one umbrella. But Christ himself understood that the, 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 the most fit type people are people that are united in spirit. Not even flesh. I can't be with you in flesh and I'm not, I'm not with you. Judas Carol for three years was with Christ, but he was never with him. But this is a man who understood who Christ is. Who loved Christ so much. And the Holy Spirit gave him the power. It, oh God. Even before Christ anointed his disciples, said, Go and cast a demon. This man was already doing it. Can't you understand? Before the Pentecost, the, the Pentecost day, somebody that understood how the Spirit worked was already doing it. Mm. He said, I saw a man cast a demon in your name. We forbid him. Why? Jealousy. Envy. Greedy. Jesus Christ is my own. It's only my own. That is what is happening today. Mm. Mm. We forbid him because he followed not with us. Jesus Christ said unto him, verse 50, and Jesus said unto him, forbid him not. For he that is not against us is for us. Christ understand. That this man was in unity with him. The man was not against him. Christ sees everything. He said, no, go and forbid him because he's spoiling my name. But no, he said, leave him. He's working for me. As far as he's not against me, he's not against me. He is who? For me. But today, he's in this anymore. We are fighting each other. Why? Well, because I want only God knows. What we are fighting for. But I see no reason why we should be fighting as long as we are speaking one language. The only problem I have is people who are going to a place where they can take them to hell. If we are doing it right, no matter we are many in different, different, different groups, it doesn't matter, but let us be in unity, in love, and in one. Let heaven recognize everyone of us that we are speaking one language. Praise Master Jesus. The, the, why, what we are saying on this mountain every day, when we hear us, don't go there. Don't, it's a place where the, the Spirit of God is not dwelling. But as long where you are is 
the presence of God is the body, is the genuine body of Christ. I don't have a problem about it. Praise Master Jesus. So this, this segregation, apartheid, started even when Christ was here. So I am not surprised about what some people are doing today. Divide, try to divide the body of Christ, but it can never be divided. Brother John, try to, try to do it. Christ said, no, you cannot do it. As far as doing my work, in unity with me, you can't stop him. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible told us in Romans chapter 15, verse 6, verse 7 and 6, I don't have any of time, God help us, in this Holy Ghost hour. Romans chapter 15, verse 5 and 6, now the God of patience, now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one towards another. This is what the Lord is talking about. Like-mindedness. Not only just body-minded. Many of us, we are body-minded. But the mind are far from each other. The mind is far. But we are bodily fitted. But spiritually divided. What are we talking about here? How can we make heaven like that? God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, they are not divided. They are fitted in the spirit. But the Christianity we have today, that we come together, we pray together, but the mind is separated. The mind is divided. The spirit is divided. Why the body are together? Is that what you are looking for? No. To be like-minded, one towards another, according to Christ Jesus, according to what Christ said in John 17 verse 21. This is a reference to John 17 21. According to our Lord Jesus Christ, he prayed for it. He must get what he prayed for. Let us come together in unity, in one mind, speaking the same language. This is why the Holy Spirit is not moving us before again. All we do, we just come together, we are dancing and it's not more there because the mind is not settled together. We are biting each other in the spirit, but together we are saying, Holy Spirit, come down. He knows every one of us. He knows that so he knows himself. He knows, he knows himself. He knows me. Even though I say, Hey, I love you, sister. Hey, my brother, I love you so much. The Holy Ghost knows if I am fabricating or not. Today, we use our mouth to confess I love you, but the mind is so far from that love. And we are saying, we are going to heaven. Let me tell you something. Let us be one, including me. It's only the body of Christ that will be raptured on that day. Those who are perfectly fitted in that body that will be raptured on that day. Those who believe that open rebuke is, is, is better than sick love of biting. Romans chapter 15 and verse 5, verse 6 and 6. Verse 6. That ye may, may with one mind and one mouth glorify God. Is, is not so anymore. Apostle Peace, you can be a witness. Look at the churches today. Fighting, striving against each other. But the Bible told us the only way we can tell the world that we are serving this God is when we are glorifying God with one mouth and one mind, but today we glorify him. Is it glorifying or agonizing him with one mouth? One mouth, but the mind is separated. It's not supposed to be so that you may with one mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the will for every child of God, to come together in the unity of the spirit of the mind before the mouth. Let us start doing this. Let us do it right. The spirit must be unity. The mind must be before the body. When the body is together and the spirit is not together, we will crumble. That's why today you see churches are crumbling everywhere because the people there are not united. They are only there for what they can gain. Earthly gain, earthly treasure. That's why churches are like this today. I want everybody to be under my umbrella, even though the rest are the, the right thing, no problem. It must be me, so that I will be the one doing it. 
It's not so. The king of kings did not do so. You may be surprised, I don't know, that that brother who was cast at demon also had his disciples under the umbrella of Christ Jesus. You'll be surprised that man, when he went to go to heaven, he was duly rewarded for being wise. For being in Christ, in the spirit. Judah Iscar was with him physically, who even owned, who was even holding the treasure, but he was never with him. Like what one of the apostles said yesterday. Praise the Lord. You can tell the people to lie down. Let us lie down to pray. But even though they are lying down, they are standing up because their mind is not there. Because their mind is not in unity with you. Let us try to do everything in the unity of faith, unity of mind, unity of the spirit. Praise Master Jesus. Sister Omar Bolaji, you are, in, you are in Africa now. You are still, you are still doing like this? Eh? I don't like this. Praise the Lord. When we are in the presence of God, let us always behave ourselves. We are in the presence of God. We can't do this in a church. In that building, in that building where we go to and start eating for pop and eating, and eating sardines. We don't do that. We are speaking the word of God now. You are saying another thing. This is a woman I own in a very high esteem. What is this? Hmm? Praise Master Jesus. Sometimes we, we make God be angry with us by, by ourselves. It's not supposed to be so. We are talking about the unity of Christ now. You, you, you are saying another thing entirely. There is division in the body of Christ. I love you so much. I own your hands. Don't do this again next time, please. I beg you. Don't do it again. I'm not happy. I know what it takes me for the Lord to, to, to give me this message this morning. Praise Master Jesus. Father, have mercy upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible told us in Philippians chapter 2 verse 3, say, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem other better than ourselves. This is the body of Christ. Let us esteem each other better than ourselves. Unless you know you know to do this, all your Christian race is fabrication. If you are only there to, for everybody to be praising you, to be highly esteemed, every other person can be nothing before you. This is what is happening today. That's why you see some people saying, I am the archbishop. I am this. I am this. They are taking the glory of God. I pity such people. No matter what you do, no matter you say you are holy, or as long you are high-minded, as long you are taking the glory of God, you are going nowhere. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in loneliness of mind. Let each esteem other better than themselves. Let us Take somebody else better than we are. Take that sister as if she's better than you. Take that brother as if she's better than he's better than you. Until you know how to do this, you are an hypocrite. You are taking the glory of God. This is why Christianity today is turning upside down. Not the body of Christ. I mean those who think they are Christian, but they are the snag of Satan. Praise Master Jesus. Let us learn to esteem each other. Let us learn to love each other. Let us learn to cherish each other in true and holy perfection. Not fabrication of trust, not fabrication of esti esti estimation of each other. No. Genuine one. When you are telling me, Apostle Mani, I love you, let it be true. Because you know why? Somebody is watching you. Someone is watching you. Someone is watching you. Holy Spirit is watching you. He knows what you are saying is a lie. They will say, all liars shall go to the kingdom of the devil. So, brethren, the Lord is telling us now, whatever we are saying with our mouth, let it be true. If we are joined together, let us be joined together in spirit first, in mind first. Before we come together in the body. 
Because many Christians today, they are joined together in their body, but in the spirit, they are, they are far from each other. That's why you can see a sister pastor overnight can go and gang up with the, with the, with the members and pull away. It's happening everywhere. Why? Because they were never united. Because they were aiming their own thing. Praise Master Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 to 6. I therefore, I, Apostle Paul was talking here, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called, with all loneliness and meekness, with long suffering, for bearing one another in love. For bearing one another in love. Change one another in love. Praise Master Jesus. And devoting to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. And devouring, making sure we are keeping the unity of peace in the Spirit. Praise Master Jesus. Verse 4. That, that there is one body. There is only one body. Every other body are the body of Satan. This one told me, if it is only two people, the message I'm giving you to preach now, my son, if it's only two people that are doing it, these two people are the body of Christ. <laughs> and I'm telling you, my son, I have my body in this world. <laughs> Let us be careful. I'm saying what it told me. Say, my body can never be divided. If it's only two people, maybe one 12 years old, and that 30 years old, are serving me with all loneliness, with this, in unity spirit, those two people are my body. And when I come, I will take them away. Every other body are never my body. They are the body of the devil. So, mount no solution and redemption premise worldwide. I am begging every one of us, let us do all we can to be in unity of the spirit, body and soul. Let us learn to esteem each other better than we are. Let us learn to love in genuineness of love, in genuineness of unity. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. I'm reading Ephesians 4, 4. Five now, and one Lord, one faith, one baptism. What is that baptism? The baptism of the dead and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is the baptism. We are baptized in his death and resurrection. So therefore, let us speak the way he speaks. Let us love the way, the way he love. Let, let us stop. I'm talking to the men of God now. Let us stop loving according to how people are giving money. Let us not stop loving according to how people are paying tight. According to how people are giving us gifts. Such men of God cannot make heaven. Let us let there be equal love for everybody. It's possible. Christ did it. Christ never segregates. Whoever paid tight, pay tight for his own love, for his own heavenly sake. The tight they are paying is is don't is for their own good. If they give you gifts, it's a, it's a blessing. So why are we pursuing money and killing souls? The problem the church has today is because of money. I want everybody to be under my umbrella so that money will be money will be coming. That is the problem. I want to buy a bigger car. I want to have a bigger house. I want to be flying jets all the, everywhere. That is a problem. That is why they are most part of cherish what they, uh, uh, our beloved uh, brother, uh, he said it. He said, I try to love everybody, but I, it, it is not, I can't help it. I see myself loving people who give me money. Mother. He said, he said, it is natural. As far as it's not scriptural, that time, I used to join that time. Or to go open my eyes. I used to say, ah, this man is saying the truth. Or, as far as it's not scriptural, it is, de it is devonica. That is the spirit of gluttony. That is the spirit of 
of, of, of covetousness. Then I thought he was saying the truth, but I realized that that was Satan speaking to him. I, I, I can't love everybody the same way because uh, some people give me money. I can't help it. As far as scripture does not say so, that is a word from the pit of hell. Praise Master Jesus. And such men of God can hardly make it. That means we are working for our belly. Please mute this woman, I beg you. Apostle, mute this woman. Mute her, please, I beg you. Somebody cannot make me angry this morning. God forbid. I will shut it out, but I will never be angry, angry with you. If you are trying to push me to, ang to be angry, it's a lie. Because of the love I have for you, I will correct you openly, but I will not be angry with you. If that was, if that was said I took you for this morning, it's a lie. It's a lie. I must be careful in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ephesians 4, verse 5. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in all. When we get to read this place very well again, Ephesians 4, verse 1 to 6. One God, all in all. We all must be fitted in this one God. As heaven is far. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible told us, I'm talking now generally to the mountain of solution and relationship premises worldwide and every other church is out there who believe that Christ is the Lord. Who believe without righteousness no one can see the Lord. The Bible told, tell us in 1 Corinthians 12, 12, 27. Now, you are the body of Christ. Now, Today, you are the body of Christ. A member in particular. A member in particular. Please, let us live as the body of Christ. Let us start behaving as the body of Christ. Let us show segregation. Let us show apathy. Let us show that this one, I am the best. As far as we are singing one song, the song of righteousness and holiness, let us embrace each other. Let us cherish each other. Let us encourage each other. The only thing I'm saying, let us run from synagogues of Satan. In that place, you cannot get genuine there. But as far as you are, it's a genuine Genuine. No mixture. I'm telling you, we are one body of Christ. Praise Master Jesus. And I pray God help us in the name of Jesus Christ. I have, I have a lot to say, but there's no time. When you get to, please, you read Colossians chapter 17, 18, Colossians, Colossians chapter 1, rather, Colossians chapter 1, 17 to 21. Colossians 1, 17 to 21, or to, to, take it to 22 for more understanding. Ephesians chapter 4, 13 to 17. Ephesians 4, 13 to 17. Praise Master Jesus. A word is enough for the wise. Amen. I, I read Romans chapter 12, 3 to 5. Then we close. Romans chapter 12, 3 to 5. It says, For I for I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. This is an instruction to every pastor, to every man of God, to every Christian that are wise enough. Let us take heed to this word. Because on the last day, the Lord will ask us how we are we thinking about ourselves among brethren. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, being a pastor, being a bishop, being a whatever you are, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think so badly, so badly, according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Verse 4, for us, we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. 
So we be many and one body in Christ and every one member one of another. Praise Master Jesus. When you get home, you can read further. No matter who you are, no matter how charisma you are, no matter how highly esteemed by me you are, no matter how highly anointed you might think you are, the Bible, says, the Bible says we must be sober. Let us not esteem ourselves more than we ought to. Else, you will start taking the glory of God in the life of men. Pride is a killer. Pride is a destroyer. Pride can never give birth to any good thing. So, children of the Most High God, let us be sober in everything we are doing. Let us genuinely love each other. Let us genuinely come together in the unity of Christ, in the spirit, in soul, in body. And with this, heaven, heavenly gates will gladly open for every one of us on the last day. And I believe on this mountain, the Lord will help us to always join together in the unity of Christ, in the spirit, in the body, and the soul. In Jesus' glorious name, I pray. Amen. This is how far I can go. A word is enough for the wise. Please, if you are out there, you are not born again. Your unity is nonsense. And you cannot be in spirit at all. It's not possible for you. So brethren, if you are there, you are not born again. Say, I am here. So that you can, you can be jointly fitted to the body of Christ. In the spirit, body and soul. Are you there? Say, I am here. And please, those of us who are still living in malice, envy, and jealousy, let's do something about it. As the Lord said through, through Apostle, Apostle Abraham yesterday, there's some things we can do for ourselves. We can make up our mind to say, I, I don't do this anymore. And malice is not giving me good 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 name. You can stop it. Envy, you can say, I'm, today, envy, go away. It will go. It said what it said, it pricked me because it is true. You can decide to say from today, I don't want to steal again. You can stop stealing. So please, those of us who are so proud. So highly minded, we look down on every other person. Please let us stop it. Yes, our work might be in vain. That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. So if you are out there, you want to surrender to our Lord Jesus Christ, say after me. I know there might be somebody in the go to meeting or in the other channel you are watching from now. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word this morning. I am a sinner. I've come to you to surrender my body, soul, and spirit to you so that I can be joint fitted into your holy body. Father, have mercy upon me. Forgive me all my sin. Wash me clean with your blood. Today, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Take my name away from the book of death and write it in the book of life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for accepting my soul. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hell have lost me forever and heaven have gained back its own. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. As many of you are there that have uh, declared this declaration, I adjust with you because you have just done the best thing any man can ever do in life. I said anyone do this, the work on whatever you're doing is nothing. I pray for I pray with you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. If chance of days whoever are there that have surrendered to you this morning, Father, I pray that you grant them the strength, O God. Father, to be highly seated and jointed with you in sober-mindedness, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask, O oh God, whatever they made it to look back again after they have put their hands on the plow, Lord Jesus, let that spirit die now. That spirit of dog in humanity that will make humanity to eat, vomit, and go and eat again. 
Lord Jesus, I cast out of this one's life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for on the last day you welcome them in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise Master Jesus. Yeah. Our Lord is good. Oh, Brethren, we have come to the end of today's service again. And I pray the Lord bless his word in our hearts. I pray we all go back home and do something about our mind, about our spirit, to know you know who you are. If you are truly gentle with the spirit, you know. If you are bodily gentle, you know. So let every one of us go back home and do something about ourselves. And the Lord richly bless of this world will not be used against me on the last day. It will not be used against you. Rather, we all we make heaven and the body of Christ are there. All Christians over the world. We come together in the unity of perfection in Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Amen. It is offer time.